My friends, my folks, my people. Welcome to the, uh... So we're in the Juneau Airport and we had originally checked our luggage in to get out here. And um, so we had a few things in our luggage going back that couldn't go through because it was bigger than a three ounce, which we know that. I mean, we travel all over the place. <laughs> but anyway, Chloe had her good face wash in um, her suitcase. So she ran out of security down to the bathroom to rinse out a different bottle and put it in a smaller bottle so she would at least have some when we get to where we're going. So uh, Daniel's in there waiting for her. Poor Chloe. What happened? They weren't gonna let me take my face wash through. Right. And it was like half full. Yeah. And I was just not feeling it. So I just insisted that they let me go to the bathroom and empty out all my other bottles and fill it with my face wash. Yeah, because that's... Because it's expensive. Yeah. So I just took the last, what, 45 minutes? Uh-huh. Filling these, emptying them, in, emptying them out, and then filling them, and then brought it through, so. That was my experience. At least the TSA so, people but you were nice. The they thing nice. is that you still have it. Exactly. I still have the you bottle. You could even and the go product. to the bathroom and put those in that. Exactly. That's silly. It is. Yeah, I'm sorry, honey. No, it's okay. Top tablets with keyboards are completely under the seat in front of you. We hope you enjoy our two hour, two minute flight. getting our luggage all of it this one lost a wheel that's a bummer but we are happy to be back you've ever had to want to have a <laughs> you ever had to... <laughs> you ever wanted to have a great time this is the place to be just come out here and just hang out and just smile at everybody pick their luggage up for them, walk away with it with them. Just, I, people will, you never know what you're gonna get. So try it sometime and you'll meet a lot of people, open some doors, it's an icebreaker. Try it. We got all our luggage. Now missing we got, a wheel. Yeah, missing a wheel on one. Already got a awesome. video of that, but it's still It's cool. good flight. That's the one I was throwing away anyway. What, 45 minute drive now? some wheels on the back. Hour. Hour drive oh, last to go, yeah, and then like we'll be back at our campers. Hope they're still there. Hope there's no mice. <laughs> All those trips have died. It's all part of the. I have like hustle and bustle, man. Yeah. Everybody all at once. So, looks like Jared's battery's dead. He's trying to start it up now. Give that a couple minutes. He said we can, uh... I, I literally, before we left, I just pulled that all off and cleaned it. Really? Yeah. Ooh. Looks like it might be time for a new battery. Yeah. 
trying charging it up. I think just sitting here for a second with the fan on without it running ran the battery down. But we have a charger on it and it doesn't want to go up past like 11, 11 and a half volts. So I don't know why. We'll see. Battery's probably pretty old. Okay, got it started. Here we go. see this my butter melted into this tray down here these are empty <laughs> it looks like when a cicada leaves its shell that's pretty funny hey everybody so I am actually fixing my truck and I had to take off the bed because it has been leaking gas out of the top of the tank. So I just thought I'd show you guys what that looks like. So there's the bed and that's the back of the truck. And I got to come here and I've tried patching this right here, but I actually got to repatch it because it keeps leaking out of the edge. And while I was taking the bed off, I broke this piece over here. So now I got to try and reattach that and glue it and glue that back together. And then it should be good to go. That looks crazy, dude. I, know. Oh, I, didn't I don't think you had to do there. this to change your oil, though. Yeah. <laughs> the windshield Just wiper the fluid oil. is the, in the front. <laughs> the, the dipstick is in the front. <laughs> Please, if you have time, uh, can you strum the guitar to get the gain right on it? He goes from fixing his gas tank to strumming the guitar. <laughs> He's too legend. cool. Look at this. Yeah, take a look at that. Who made all this? I did. He did? Wow. It's for your party? <laughs> What's going on in here? I made food for everybody. Culinary Institute in New York. Oh, oh my goodness. Look what she did, Grandpa. It's really like pretty. pretty. And they, they pick the lettuce, they pick the, what, the broccoli, yep. carrots. Mm -hmm. What else did we get in the garden? Up the beets. The beets? Yeah, those are fresh. Wow. Guys, we just dropped watermelon and it looks like this. Oh, that's so cute. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's what the... 
Anything that looks like yeah. uh, oh my. chicken on the goats would eat it. Let me see you, Willow. Bag right over there. You can put that in because no. Oh. <laughs> I got But the fact that your grandmother did it and it still looks that nice. Hey, oh my friend. You blew your sister's <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh, really? You can take turns. So the girls moved into here and swam a little bit, a bit in this hot tub spa pool. It started raining outside. So they moved in, they did that for a while. Now, let's see, where are they? Oh, there you guys are, still in their bathing suits. And painting on the walls with shaving cream. Hickory, are you in there? Are you having fun? It's fun, huh? <laughs> anyway, just something fun that the host did with the kids. Welcome to the, uh, Trout Lake. Trout Lake, Washington. So today, me and Daniel decided to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. Um, none of the family except mom at the moment knows about this. We are playing the Trout Lake Fair today and they are doing a 5K race this morning. So we decided to get up super early, me and Daniel, and do this race with everybody. So come along with us, <laughs> and here we go. <laughs> Let me see your number. While we're running. Yeah. So here's the strategy. You're really bad at filming, <laughs> so why I? So here's the strategy. You say slow and steady wins the race. And so I doubt our slow and steady will win this race, <laughs> <laughs> but it will allow us to still play in a couple hours and not be exhausted. Mm -hmm. So, we're gonna have a bunch of fun and hopefully win this thing. Found <laughs> <laughs> it. Go! Woo! Here we go. Everybody's starting to slow down a little bit. This guy's cheating. <laughs> he's very, he's a very stable. All right, it's raining. And we hit the halfway mark. We're over halfway. Oh, starting to get tired now. All right, two miles. Woo! I know I look so sweaty. It's just the rain. But I am out of breath. <laughs> okay, you guys. See that old guy? Barely. See that old guy? <laughs> See that old guy? He's probably over 70. And here we are in our prime, and he's schooling us. Just over two and a half. Here we go, guys. Oh my god! Third place in the men's 20 to 29 age category 5K goes to Daniel Gregson. <laughs> First place goes to Jay Patterson. Let me see it. Age category female 5K. First place, Chloe Gregston. 
Bowie Griggs. <laughs> First place in the H category. What? Maybe slow and steady did win the race. <laughs> yeah. Trout Lake Fair. Trout Lake Fair. Got some Alaska weather with us. Pretty nice. Look at that. Scott, you were going. Looking at that. Is it really that awesome? Yeah. Oh, there you go. So it's equal in mine. Okay. I just felt a raindrop. Let's pray it doesn't rain. Hi. These are the, the biggest blueberries in the universe. They, uh, they must have had some type of growing disorder, and they, they taste really good. Wow. So we just played a concert and now I'm back. Last night I glued that and I glued that again and now I just gotta put some gas in it and then put it back together and make sure it all doesn't leak. So yeah. Okay, we're seeing if Eli's tank is fixed. I'm gonna take the bed off of this thing. Life on the road. It was leaking right here. He's got it all sealed up. Now we're gonna fill it up. See how it does. Did it just get too much in or is it actually? It's full. Thing? You see it in here? Well, I mean, that came out like all over the place. Sorry, did I get on your clothes right No, just my hand. Just go ahead and put a little bit more in there. <laughs> oh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's right there in the tube now. It's in the tube. Alright, well, if it's stuck in the tube. No, it's not stuck. Well, but if it's draining slow enough and oh, yeah, it's not it's leaking. I would say that that feels pretty fixed to me. It was instantly coming out before. Yeah. And it was on the ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like it as soon as it groups. was breached, it like wouldn't let the gas sit. So. Nothing dripping. And what do you have to say? I'd say, Hallelujah. Well done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Times yeah. 10. Check us out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, There's nothing you can't do Close with the Lord's help in your life. Um, Even Eli was able to fix this, and he's new to mechanics, so the Lord can use anybody. We'll start my own bed removal service. <laughs> you need your bed removed. We got it. Tree removal, stump removal, nobody calls. Bed removal. Still nobody calls. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. So this morning we're going to be playing here at the church and it's going to be super fun. So here we go. You work in our hearts continuously and we pray that it's like a, a pond. So I said that, but I wish to see you. So we're on our way to McCall, Idaho, but me and Daniel were 
just driving and then smoke or some kind of something started coming Didn't out of our we were overheating air but I don't know if you can see that I'm not really sure I could what that is good news I don't know as much about cars as Scott does and so I gave him a call um, just to see what he thought about it and he thinks it's not a big deal it didn't have a smell um, and so he thinks it must have been just some sort of vapor um, so yeah we'll see how it goes pray for these vehicles please you guys it's time to dump but obviously it's it is rain. raining a lot it's pouring yep How far are you going to go? <laughs> Good job, Sarah. You think you got enough hose here? Yeah. Oh, everything's so wet and muddy.
not very fun. When I signed up to be on the road, I didn't picture this. Sand in the rain, it smells like horse poop around here. Cold and wet. The camp is all dirty. You don't want to look at that. Got nowhere to get out of the rain. <sighs> you still in the bathroom? You still in the bathroom? Can you turn on the water? You hear me? You turn on the water to the toilet? Okay. It's almost clear enough. It's only getting dirty again. It's like it's like making a bed. I don't see any point to making a bed because you're just gonna mess it up every single day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So why clean this thing out completely clean and you're just going to put stuff back in it? It makes sense just to get it out of there and let it be dirty. To get it perfectly clear, it just takes forever, so, you know? There's still a lot of weird stuff coming through there, so I better wait. A lot of weird smells, too. Yeah, it smells bad. So this is just a little side note. The reason why Scott never takes showers is because like his body's gonna get dirty anyway. And that's his philosophy. He's just like, why clean it? I just won't take showers. <laughs> Folks, I could take a shower in under a gallon of water. Probably less than a gallon. We should test that theory out. I'm pretty sure. I got a six gallon hot water tank and I get wet, put some soap on, rinse it off. Probably a couple, you know, bottles of water is all I need for a whole shower. One to get wet, one to rinse, and that's economic. And you don't need to shower every single day. Think the people back in the day showered every single day? No. They had a bath like once a week. You know what I mean? All right, that's probably good enough. Mary Poppins. <laughs> I'm to fly away. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay, it's Juniper's turn. <laughs> Juniper's almost as tall as you. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to McCall, Idaho. So, you know what we always do. Eat an apple and do a workout. Yeah. So we're going to do our workout like we always do. Somebody's gonna trip over somebody. We're getting closer to each other. <laughs> Laundry day. Feels good to get everything clean. Clean sheets, baby. All done with the laundry. <laughs> All right.
right, so now we're gonna go set up for a concert. We're here in McCall, Idaho. Here we go. Okay, everybody, so we received a package that had some dry ice involved. And me and Daniel are having the most fun. And I'll show you why. Watch. All right, so we're gonna take our cup. Okay, fill it with some warm water. Okay, some dry ice with the towel. Watch. Isn't that cool? <laughs> <laughs> This is fun. We're having a lot of fun with this. Back around. Yeah, then there's a right turn only. So you have to like go around the other block. We had to literally turn and go back towards that way. Oh my gosh. All right, Father, we pray that you would just bless everything about today. We thank you for what you're doing here today. We thank you for your Holy Spirit being here before us. And we pray that you give us strength and anointing in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 There's people from Los Perlas here again tonight. Yeah. Two, one. See, See you, you in, in the, the next, next vlog. vlog. <laughs> <laughs>